Android version 12 developer preview 3 is here as you already know and if you are Redmi Note 9 Pro user, Cortana user, you can use this Android 12 build right now on your device which is actually quite good. This is developer preview 3 and if you want to install this on a device, it's actually quite easy. It's a mere tool build so can be installed on other devices also like Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro installation etc is also kind of same for all of those devices. But but now let me share with you some things. Can you use this as a daily driver? Of course not. It's developer preview 3. But you can simply experience some new features. For example, the feature which you are seeing right now on your screen is actually the ripple effect. Let me show you which ripple effect I'm talking about. This is the ripple effect. If you don't know, and I just made a video some time ago that you get you are getting new ripple effect in Android 12 developer preview 3. In that video, I already shown you these things, and now we have installed the real Android 12 developer preview 3 on our device, including that new notification UI as you already know, and in this new notification UI in Android 12 developer preview, it looks actually quite good. The notifications are arranged and now if you compare it with the android version 11 honestly these are far better than that we have new kind of ui in the notification panel and like that if we talk about the quick settings the colors are a bit of changed and you don't know about that it's actually quite easy let me share with you some other things about this build for example screen recorder related things same kind of screen recorder is available for you record audio you can only record audio from your microphone and nothing like that now let me show you some other things we have the normal dividers available for you home settings widget styles and wallpapers are same settings but we have new dividers for you as you can see new ui even though it has the new rounded ui available for you add app icons to home screen version is showing as version s but the thing is it's kind of android version 11 android 12 is not officially available for all of the devices and also pixel launcher is only for the android version 11 if you see it will show you the version s but everything else is just kind of same like android version 11 there are no major changes by the way but yes if you're still looking to install this this is a pixel launcher you get by default or you can see pre-installed in this latest android 12 developer preview 3 now moving on to some other things in this build for example this is the ui and these are the icons these are the apps you get pre-installed all the pixel apps are pre-installed here and you don't need to use any kind of app you don't need to install any kind of app separately because it's google pixel so all the apps are available android camera etc etc all these apps are already pre-installed you don't need to install these apps separately from the google play store but some of the apps are kind of useless you can also uninstall them this is not kind of plotware you can uninstall them if you want to now if you move on here swipe down and you can see this kind of gesture this is the thing which i liked a lot in this android 12 developer preview if i swipe down from anywhere it will not show my it will show me it will not show me the notification panel but right now like this if i use the if i use the bottom gestures i can simply use this notification panel here how this is working and where this option is located it is in system and gesture swipe for notification you can simply swipe down from the bottom edge of the screen to show your notification panel which actually looks quite amazing and this is just kid i was not actually i was not even sure that it is working or not but we tried it and it's just working perfectly fine and this is one of the great features but double tap at the back of your phone that feature is not working but you can enable that by tap tap gesture which is a very good kind of android app available on the google you can find out very easily everything else is kind of same and same feature features are present for you also if we if you go for the system update app here which is available there you will see the android security update of 5th of april 2021 but android version 11 and as i previously mentioned you it's not proper android version 12 it's scanned android version 11 even you will get the android 11 easter egg there if you talk about the new notification new volume panel basically this is a new volume panel with new rounded ui expanding expanded volume panel is like this now this is not same like the android version level there are also some changes there and as i previously shown you some videos about android 12 upcoming features in some and some days ago i shown you a video where i shown you the android 12 upcoming features that also included these new options and the new volume panel is actually little bit different the new brightness slider is not there but everything else is just kind of same 
this is a new volume panel which I was talking about this is a new volume panel even though if you want to use the vibrate option silent option and ring option this is how it is working like this is a bit of change here if you compare it with the Android 11 yes there are some changes available for you I like that if you want to use the live caption option live caption feature that's also available there but I honestly don't use it mostly on my device it's not helpful for me but yes if you want to use it you can use that if you are the user and you want to install this build on your device on your mere tool device unfortunately the google camera which is pre-installed it's not working if you want to use camera on your device you can try out other camera apps from the google play store or maybe if you have any kind of other g cams available for you you can try out that one also but the pre-installed g cam the default g cam is unfortunately not working for you this is the thing which you need to keep in mind and as i previously mentioned you some bugs are present there it's not recommended for you to use as your daily driver if you talk about the settings related options you will only get the apps option there you will not get the apps and notification option which was available in android version 11 now apps and notification have the separate sub menus available but the features are kind of same we have the device and app notifications notification history etc digital well-being and the battery section now we have the new ui as expectedly the features are looking quite good battery percentage adaptive brightness storage sound and vibration also include same kind of things which i've already shown you some time ago display related settings brightness level adaptive brightness some things are properly organized auto rotate screen it also includes the increased touch sensitivity option which i didn't i didn't found it useful till now for me actually and the styles and wallpapers as expectedly six kind of styles pre-installed for you i don't use them most of the times but yes these are present for you doesn't include face lock but fingerprint is present for you if you want to use it it's just up to you, you can use it on your device if you're looking to install this privacy related things and everything else is just kind of same device personalization accounts google system about phone these were the things i just wanted to let you know and you can use these things on your device if you want to everything else maybe i have shown you top have the accounts option if you're looking to install this build on your device it's just kind of same how you can install this link for the files is in the description if you use it you will see encrypted storage first of all click on wipe and wipe all these main partitions you need to swipe to wipe for all for to wipe all these partitions after that it is also recommended to format data so simply move here click on format data type yes which is necessary for you it is recommended to format data because you are installing the latest android version 12 on your device so click on yes and format data and now here select the rom files first one is cortana spp3 port 2 and now we have after after selecting this you will see this kind of option there you simply need to swipe to install or also what you can do is you can simply add to queue the other method other file which is called bootseeker.zip all these files you simply need to use click on reboot you are good to go this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day